Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY Diva ring light. So if you don't know what the Diva ring light is, um, I have a picture of it right here for you. It is this round circular bright light that you can put behind your camera or your smartphone to really illuminate your face and just make everything really bright. Um, it works great if you don't have a lot of natural light or you just don't have a bright enough light for um, what you're trying to capture. So I haven't made one yet myself, but I went on to Pinterest um, because these lights are like a couple hundred dollars and I just don't have that kind of money to spend on a lamp. So I went on to Pinterest, I searched YouTube, there's tons and tons of different tutorials. Um, so pretty much I just kind of figured out what kind of basic supplies I needed and I'm just gonna kind of wing it. Uh, so if this doesn't work, I'm still gonna post the video as like a blooper reel, but hopefully, fingers crossed, that this works for me. So the basic supplies that you are going to need, um, I got this 16-foot LED rope light kit. It is um, by Chapter, that's the brand. I got it in daylight as that's what has been recommended. I got this at my local Walmart. It was about $16. It comes with the hardware and everything included. It is indoor, outdoor. It comes with the extension cord. So this is what I'm gonna be using for the actual lights. Then I purchased um, eight inch cable ties. It's a count of 20. I also got these at Walmart for about three bucks. Then my wire wreath frame. Um, this one is an 18 inch one because I wanted it to be a little bit bigger. I couldn't find it at my local Walmart, but I was able to find it at my AC Moore for about $3. You'll also need some aluminum foil and a pair of scissors. All right, so let's get started. Wish me luck. Okay, so here I am just cutting the tag off of the wire frame, and then I'm going to cover the entire frame in aluminum foil. I have seen some tutorials where people have used metallic duct tape instead of aluminum foil because the foil can get punctured if a hole gets popped through it. But I did not have any metallic duct tape on hand, so I'm using what I had, which is aluminum foil. You want to cover it in a shiny reflective surface so the rope lights have something to illuminate against. So I'm just going to cover the entire frame in foil. I'm using the shiny side up and just making sure that I overlap it over the prior sheet of foil so none of the frame peeks through. Okay, so now that the frame is covered in aluminum foil, I'm going to map out on the frame where I want the rope lights to be. There are two ends to the rope lights, so I check to see which ends will be plugged into the cord, that way I leave that end out. And then just starting with the opposite end of the rope lights, I'm just mapping out around where on the frame I want the rope lights to be. Since I'm just mapping it out, they are going to wiggle all over the place, but this is just so I know how many rows of the rope light are going to go around the frame because I want it to be even. And I was able to get it around the frame three full times, which gave me a nice amount of the rope light over. That way I can still plug it in and have some space. So now I'm going to go through and zip tie the rope light to the frame. I'm not really doing it in any special method. I'm just spacing them out so that it's nice and secure. And then I'm readjusting the rope lights as I go to make sure none of them are overlapping and that it is still in three equal rows.
Now I'm getting toward the bottom of the frame here where the other cord is going to meet. So now I'm just going to take a couple of the extra zip ties and really secure it to the frame so that it doesn't wiggle or anything since I still have quite an amount of rope light left over to plug into the wall. I'm going to use one more zip tie just to make sure it's really secure and that the tail of the rope light isn't going to wiggle anywhere. And now I'm just going through the frame making sure all the zip ties are nice and tight and then I'm going to cut the ends off with my scissors. And there's the finished product. And now I'm going to connect the end of the rope light to the cord and then screw that on. And then there we go. Okay, I have the finished product up. It is just about 10 p.m. I have all the lights in my house off except for the glow of the TV. So I'm going to plug this in now. Uh, fingers crossed. Let's see if this actually worked or not. And here we go. Oh my goodness. This totally worked. Wow, it is so bright. Okay, I am so excited. This actually worked. Um, so like I said, it's like 10 p.m. All the lights in my house are off except for the glow of my TV. It's pitch black outside. And all I have right now is the glow from my awesome DIY Diva ring light. I'm so excited. This actually worked. I have it attached to my tripod with um, another couple zip ties, but I'm going to have to find out something else I can use. Um, that way I can move it around if I wanted to. Um, but this is amazing. It worked. It's so bright. I absolutely love it. Uh, so if you want to see more videos like this, just like and subscribe.